insidious tactics. Once you are in the stronghold of headquarters, escape will be much tougher. This may be the last you see of daylight for a long time. Once inside, the opportunity to escape will be extremely limited. This hell pit could be your new home for days, weeks or months and the enemy will be doing everything in their power to make life as uncomfortable as possible for you. This will include the continued use of softening up tactics. By now you'll be desperate for food, water and sleep. While your captors soften you up, interrogation officers will be doing their research to find out how to make you crack. They'll be gathering as much intelligence as possible from initial searches of your clothing, overheard conversations and any other information they can gather. They're building up a picture of you. Are you weak or strong? Can you take punishment? What gets to you? Are you cool or emotional? This will be used for the next stage of your ordeal when a professional interrogator takes over. Our professional interrogator for this fictitious scenario is Paul Ashley, a former armed forces instructor on resistance to interrogation techniques. The interrogation environment will have been designed purposely to be bland and featureless. They want to deprive you of any distractions that will take your mind off the situation. interrogator will be constantly analyzing your responses and deciding on the best approach to weaken you. He's looking for that chink in your armor that reveals your weakest point. He may decide to be nice and accommodating or he may be vindictive and use threats. He'll try every approach he knows until he thinks you're cracking. A lot of people have got this imagination that thinks they're going to be tortured all the time. That is not the case. Even if you control the physical, you don't control the man. If you control his mind, then you have it. Okay, listen to me. What I want you to do is to take your hood off. Hand it to me. Pick it up. Pick it up. I asked you to hand it to me. It's not a very good start, is it? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me here. Eye contact is absolutely crucial for an interrogator because what you're trying to do is to get him to concentrate on you. The eyes are the windows to the soul. It's a very true statement. The eyes will move in various locations on the reaction to various questions that are put to them. There are six areas. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you want to recall something, a past event or something of that nature, then the majority of people will move up into the top right. If they're making things up, it'll come from the top left. If you touch a raw nerve, then the eyes will move down to the left or to the bottom right. The way in which you can get around this is to train yourself to keep looking straight ahead as soon as a question is asked to you. Because otherwise, at one point, you're going to trip up and your eyes will move to one location or the other.